I need eight six foot tables. So every time we have an exhibit or something new or new, you know, new show, we put on an opening. We have a, you know, the big party and um, everybody in town really comes out for them. I thought that we were going to have that guy doing the quesadillas. It'll be a big night in Alpine, Texas for Liz Jackson. Everybody here at the Museum of the Big Bend is busy putting the finishing touches on a huge Western exhibition. There's shelves and showcases all through the museum packed with the trappings of Texas. And of all the items earmarked for exhibit, there's one corner of the museum that holds a special place in Liz Jackson's heart. never say that he was the most famous Texas Ranger. <laughs> he would never say that. Uh, he wouldn't say that. I would say that, but he wouldn't say that because he's, he's too humble and he, he talks so much about the other men that helped him get the job done. Joaquin Jackson as tall as a mountain and tough as a West Texas twister. He wore the silver badge of the Texas Rangers for nearly 30 years. An old fashioned, no nonsense lawman whose territory covered hundreds of square miles in the dry, rugged, unforgiving Trans Pecos. A legendary figure to millions of Texans, especially Liz Jackson. To me, he's the most famous Texas Ranger because he's also, you know, my father-in-law. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. How y'all doing? First, I'm Joaquin Jackson, as you told you, and I spent 27 years in the Ranger Service, and I spent nine years in the Highway Patrol before I went in the Ranger Service, so I spent 36 years working with the Texas Department of Public Safety. And to me, it meant that I was in a law enforcement agency that was the elite in the world. Ever since Joaquin Jackson retired better than 10 years ago, folks have begged him to write a book. I've always been a fairly good talker, so I talked to him putting the gun down. Well, the tall, shy man with the booming voice finally agreed. He went out and persuaded his favorite Texas author, David Marion Wilkinson, and together they came up with a collection of incredible stories from a man who really has seen it all. I served Texas for 36 years, and I'm proud that I never had to kill anyone. I came down close. I certainly shot people, although I was never wounded. Bullets flew my way more often than I'd like. I'm no gun nut. I am a craftsman who appreciates the finest tools of my trade. I master them to perform a beneficial service, my defense and the defense of other, others against the criminal element. I own the guns, but they have never owned me. And that's true. Yeah. That's, very, that's a truism. A N L E N. -L -E -N. A -R -L -E -N. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ever since Joaquin's life story hit the bookshelves, people line up to meet the man who is bigger than life. After reading the book herself, Liz had a feeling that the museum would be crowded. It's a great story. It'll make you laugh. It'll make you cry. It'll make you mad. That's the way I lived it, and that's the story I told. And I ain't backing up on it. <laughs> that's the way it was. It, nothing to back up on. I mean, it's the truth. I think deep down inside, I think a lot of people see this, you know, striking figure being 6'5", and they see this, you know, big, rough and tumble Texas Ranger. But to me, who he is is what's on the inside, and he is as gentle as a baby lamb. You know, I've watched my kids cuddle up with him, and, you know, he's like the grandpa to them. And so to me, he's just a, he's a big softy to me, but that's how I see him. And uh, I couldn't ask for a better father-in-law. And um, Texas couldn't ask for a better ranger. Joaquin Jackson likes to say, while it's the story of just one man, his book is a tribute to all Texas rangers, backed by the legend of the silver badge worn just above the heart. Winston Churchill once said that he found nothing more exhilarating than being shot at and missed. Maybe so, but I never once celebrated after a shootout. 
you just find yourself a quiet place and let, everyth and let everything simmer back down, then God willing, you go home. I think he's come home. I think he's come home to his family, but I don't think he's done. I think there's still a lot to be said and heard from, from Joaquin. Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.